Hello guys, this is Arita. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a vlog. I'm currently in Taiwan, living my best life. Right now, it's uh, 21st of September. Today, I want to make the decoration for our gender reveal party. I know a lot of people, they order balloons, didn't want to create too many trash. I decided to order a cake. I wanted the main piece of the event to be eatables. And right now, I am still going to make some decoration. I'm going to make a guirlande by myself instead of buying it. And also because I have a quite specific uh, theme and uh, we will see how it turns out. Let's get started. This is what I printed on the paper, banana and peach. First, I'm going to stick them on something a, a bit thicker and I'm going to cut them down, uh, make a hole on it and then put a string around it. And this is just like two graphics that I found on the internet printed out. I'm going to use them just as like decoration. Well, anyway, here we go. one in London and I went to London I, actually, I especially went to this shop uh, to eat the dessert and there were like 12 people and I, I felt like it was less good I don't know somehow so this is why when I come back to Taiwan I always make sure I could eat at least once this um, dessert uh, black grass jelly ice you can choose like different combination of toppings and I chose like brown sugar jelly I don't even know how to say this like tapioca powder made into strings and then this is just a classic boba and underneath uh, there is like a so shaved grass jelly and the best part of this kind of dessert is you add normal cream for coffee it's so good <laughs> I can't recommend it enough I used to love it when I was a kid perfect afternoon tea dessert Mm. Oh, good. It's almost end of September and it's still so hot. Being pregnant makes me like way less tolerant to heat. Before I was pregnant, I'm not someone who sweats a lot. So I never get it when other people around me uh, can't stand the heat. I'm like, oh, it's not hot. And now I get it. And I'm sorry for how I used to treat them. <laughs> Not taking them seriously enough. I feel like the look of this thing doesn't do it justice. It can look a bit, but it's really good. You need to give it a try. I need to get some workout done. Dumplings for dinner. They look so good. Like so much bigger than the one I got in France. So healthy. Probably the best dumplings I've ever had. Hello, good morning. So right now I'm gonna go for a haircut. I'm pretty excited. I think I'll get some bangs. After that, I'll come back, have lunch, and then go out again. Go in town, I think, in the, in Taipei. Do some shopping. I didn't want to buy some gifts. And then, yeah. I'll come back. Because I have... We have a... What do I say? Because we have... Someone is coming to our place to replace the air conditioning, so I need to be out during the time that they do the construction so it's gonna be a long day but I'm gonna walk a bit 
as the exercise of the day. All right, let's go for the haircut. Here is the market that I have been shopping since I was a kid. I know every stall. Butter is so good. I'm like super chill. Yeah. So far, it has been a really nice day. My family received this as a gift, and this is mooncake. It's been a long time I haven't spent a mid autumn festival in Taiwan, and I'm really excited for this. Look at this, how many flavors there are. Oh my gosh. Seven. Seven types. Uh, they're all different. I'm going to have this one. This is like a um, taro. This is how it looks. I'm going to cut it open. I think I might have just half because it's pretty caloric. But if it's really good, I might as well just finish it because <laughs> it's like the first mooncake I've had since 2015, I think. Inside it looks like this. It's so creamy and it's like the best compliment Asian gives to desserts is that it's not too sweet and this is definitely not too sweet. I actually thought I needed a hot tea on the side to be able to finish it, but not at all. I can just eat it, eat it like this, really really well seasoned. Mm. So there's like flour, taro, bean paste, sugar and a bit of butter inside this and the, the packaging says after you open it you need to put it in the fridge and the expiration date is it's like in two weeks actually so it's like fresh products I think that's why it's so good because the ones that I can find in in friends in the Asian supermarkets they really don't look tempting at all because they are usually shipped by boat I'd say regarding the price and they look so dry so I never I never tried them and yeah this has nothing to do with it if you ever have the chance to come to Taiwan usually around September try the mooncake and uh, try different sorts of mooncake see which one you like the best this one's really good mm. I wanted to share something that I noticed uh, so on the way back, I took the metro. I was really surprised at how friendly Taiwanese are now to pregnant women. I think it has always been like this. I felt the huge difference, uh, especially between uh, Taiwan and Japan, because I went to Japan like two weeks ago, and we took a lot of public transportation, and nobody took a, nobody gave me their seat when I was like wait standing up in front of them. Everybody was just like on their phone a lot and or closing their eyes trying to sleep and in Taiwan I noticed that every time I jumped on the metro always someone will give me their seat and 
it's it's amazing and some, sometimes people don't even tell me that they're giving me their seat they just leave so the seat is empty i'm like well i, w I might as well just take it <laughs> really impressed with uh, my taiwanese folks Hello, good morning guys. It's currently 6.20 a.m. in the morning. I've been waking up pretty early, so I wanted to record this uh, change in my sleeping habit due to the pregnancy. I think it's quite interesting. Uh, I used to be someone who sleeps very deep, deep, like the most uh, serious earthquake in Taiwan, the September 21st. When I was really young, when I was a kid, that earthquake didn't even wake me up. I didn't even felt a thing. Well, since I'm grown up, I'm less and less like that. But I am in general still a pretty good sleeper, you know, I can fall asleep easily. Since then I'm pregnant, it has changed. During the first trimester, I was waking up a lot during the night to go to the, the restroom. And then it has calmed when I was like reaching my second trimester. So right now I'm like 23 weeks, I think. Since my 21st weeks, I have been experiencing sort of insomnia. I think it's insomnia slash jet lag slash change of food and weather and it's really <laughs> i cannot say cool but it's it's a life experience to 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 have sleeping problem for me i, I can't seem to sleep later than the record so far is 7 a.m and it's like only once usually i wake up around 4 or 5 and yeah so it's that's what's happening so far not complaining again i'm just like wondering if this is going to change back to normal after uh, the baby has arrived and my hormone has done its job and go back to the normal level but so far so far i don't sleep well as for today that as it's saturday uh, i am asking if my parents are free i just want to spend some time with them and i was thinking uh dihua street area and then maybe go somewhere to eat after that uh, i was thinking about running some errands buying some stuff to bring back to friends this is a traditional essence of chicken. I know the taste of different brands to see if I like any. And if I find one that I like, I might get a box. This is just like pure nutrition from the chicken soup in the bag. I warmed it up in hot water and you drink it empty stomach. It's supposed to give you nutrition without too much calories. I think for the last part of the pregnancy it could be really helpful when you don't want to gain weight too fast. I'm gonna have this before my coffee. One taste of it. Look at today's breakfast. This is rice bowl and an omelet. No. I'm being the English is Egg cake. <laughs> I was a cake. <laughs> Hi guys. So right now it's like 7 p.m. I'm about to head over to shower and change into pajama. So I will wrap the vlog up here. But before I do that, I want to show you guys the stuff I got today from the shopping. I got all of this. So I'll show you guys quickly one by one. I got this chili sauce from Ding Tai Fong. This sauce is a uh, chili oil. Uh, inside the box, it's like half oil and half solid. It smells really good and it's really not spicy at all, in my opinion. So I really think it's a nice gift. It also comes with a a bag so you can like give the bag with the box it looks really proper that's the first thing the second thing is uh, this we went for lunch at this restaurant the restaurant itself has the same vibe as Ding Tai Fung their signature dishes were soups so this is a peeled chili pepper it's basically pickled chili and the marinade is flavored with uh, soy sauce uh, sugar and salt I bought this to re recreate the soup that we have in the shop. The chili by itself is also pretty tasty. I really liked the seasoning, so I thought I'd give this, I'd give this a try. 
I got the here the stuff. I got it from the Dihua Street, which is like famous street full of dried ingredients from seafood, mushrooms to nuts, a lot of stuff that you can find in this street. Uh, we call this Nianghuo Tajie. I got two things. Uh, it's not for now. It's for the after I gave birth for the Zuo Yuezi. But as I have some extra weight allowance, I'm buying some stuff that I can already bring. So when my parents fly over to take care of me after the baby is born, we have, have already some ingredients uh, over there in France. I got two things. Uh, one is this. This is white mushrooms. I don't see this often in, in France. It's like the black uh, dried mushroom. You just soak it in water and then you can make soup. You can make it into sweet or savory soup. It's really good for skin. And the other stuff I got is uh, this. So this is dried yum. This is a yum from Taiwan. It's just uh, peeled and dried. It's also for making soups. I especially chose this one because it's uh, yum from Taiwan. I prefer to buy Taiwanese ingredients because I know that in Taiwan, we check more often the agricultural ingredients than in some other countries. So I got this one for making soups. Then I have stuff from two other shops. One is uh, Uniqlo. I got two baby onesie. So these two, these two were like on the sale pile. So I got both of them. Uh, for 99 NT each, so it was like a really good deal. And then the last shop I went to is Idoli. I'm not sure of the name in English, but it's like a Japanese shop. This vibe of Muji. I got a few stuff. So first thing I got was like this two pillowcase. I quite like the design of it. I think the print will go really well with the couch we have. And then I have two more stuff. One is this. <laughs> it's been a while. I want to buy. I want to buy this stuff. This is like a silicone sponge. Both sides is the same. It's made of silicone, so you can wash dishes without scratching it. I, I bought this because I wanted to clean the non-stick pen with this kind of material instead of a, a normal sponge, which might scratch it. So I think uh, it can be washed in the dishwashers. Final stuff <laughs> is this. Uh, I got this uh, two pack of five hangers and this is like a small size for baby clothes thought i did need it it's quite cheap compared to uh, what i see in france so i got it also and that is everything i bought today i really enjoy documenting this past few days i think in the future i would just watch those vi this video to remember the details of how i felt uh, during my pregnancy and uh, yeah i think that is it for now I'm gonna head over to the shower, get comfy and sleep. I hope I can sleep well tonight. I'm so tired, but... <sighs> Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy this less serious, more lifestyle video. And if you do like the video, like and comment. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It's really helping me to continue to do videos. And I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.